Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I want to show you a little cool tool called Cap Rover. It is very interesting tool where it competes with Heroku. If you are a Heroku user, you already know that it is very, very easy to install and deploy application to the internet using Heroku. However, how about if you don't have a luxury to use Heroku, for example, it is expensive or you want to control your server yourself. And welcome to Cap Rover. Using Cap Rover, you can actually build your own PaaS or platform as a service. And in here, it's very, very nice. So let's take a look. Let's take a look together, right? So in here, uh, this is the landing page of Cap Rover. You can actually go to the live demo and then basically using this password to uh, to basically like explore things. However, uh, I want to use my own server over here uh, in my own domain. And it's very amazing because using Cap Rover, you get uh, almost all the same uh, simplicity of Heroku. So for example, now once you set up everything uh, using, for example, in my case, I'm using the free AWS credits plus running EC2 and then I put Cap Rover on top of my EC2. And then I get a lot of things. I get the dashboard, I get the apps, I can create one-click apps, I can create uh, a lot of things here. For example, Postgres, MongoDB, and Strapi, and WordPress maybe. You name it, right? You can create a lot of things easily using one click. How nice it is. And the good thing is uh, you can also install your own application. You can uh, create your own application and then it's very easy to manage, right? And the good thing about Cap Rover as well is they have a built-in monitoring tools called Open Net Data. So for example, here I get all the information about my system and it is very, very easy to control to see uh, what is the current state of my system, the CPU, the load, the disk, RAM, and everything. It's very nice. And then you can also able to manage your cluster as well as you get a couple of advanced settings in here. So that's the quick overview of Cap Rover. And next thing is I want to show you how to incorporate Cap Rover in your CI CD setup. Okay, so if you haven't already use Cap Rover, you can go to the Cap Rover website and then go to the getting started page. And then one of the most interesting part is the CI CD because CI CD is why I'm here because uh, I love CI CD because it makes my development workflow really nice. Once I finish with something, I can just share my result to my uh, colleague and see the result, get a feedback. So CI CD is very important. And in here, I'll walk through you step by step on how to create similar CI CD setup like in the example, but on the other example, because this example in here is very, very straightforward, very easy, but it is too simple. I will give you the one that's a little bit tricky, but it's still manageable. So let's see. So first of all, uh, in here, they give an example of GitLab repository. And fortunately, I'm a GitLab user, so I can follow all the step here, but you can also adapt the step here in your own CI CD system. So I already have a project. This is one of my project. And then it is a back, it is a monorepo of Django and Angular application, but I want to just focus on the Django or the backend, right? And in here, I have everything. You put the sample source code. Definitely, I have a lot of code in here. And then you have the Docker file. Yes, I also have a Docker file in here ready to go. So I uh, put everything necessary to set up the Docker. And then after that, you need something called access token for Cap Rover. So you can go here to the profile and you can basically create a access token for your GitLab. And then the important thing is you need to assign the token to only get this access, which is the read registry and write registry. So what is it? It is basically a registry or a contained registry to be exact. 
where you can store your container image in here. So go to the registries and container image. So you basically want to set up everything in here, right? Okay, let's go ahead. And the next step is you want to put uh, the token to the cap rover and register it as a registry. So you can go to the cap rover itself in here and then add your registry in here, add remote registry. I don't want to do that because uh, there is uh, some uh, token in here, but the idea is just click here, put everything that you need. And then the next step is you basically need to disable default push because you don't want to mess up with the GitLab. So in here, I already disabled the push. It is just uh, simple to do, just click here and then do disable push. And then after that, you can do create a cap rover app, which is I've done here using the apps and then I'm uh, doing the guest gun back end. Very easy. And the next step is I want to go with the uh, CI CD variables. So you want to make sure that you all have all the CI CD variables set up using in menu in here. So setting CI CD, expand all the variables and put your uh, cap rover app, cap rover password, and cap rover URL in here. I don't want to reveal the token because it is secret, but you can do your own, right? And the next step is you want to uh, define the GitLab CI file. So I go to my GitLab CI files and I already copy everything over. And you actually don't need to do anything if you if it everything is very straightforward or in the root of your uh, what is it repository. But because I'm storing the Django in this folder, I just add one line, which is CD backend. Very easy. And then the rest is the same as in here. Awesome. Perfect. So after that, uh, after everything is done, you can just uh, save everything. And then you can see uh, on the pipeline, uh, in the pipeline, there will be something called build Docker master, where uh, what they do is basically uh creating a lot of things and after that they will create a docker image in here and then after that what happen is they will uh push the image to github sorry gitlab registry and then cap rover will basically pull that data from gitlab registry to the cap rover and then install it in the cap rover right very very uh handy so let's take a look the result so if I open the result, I can go to the uh, here. Hold, okay. So here I run my Django apps. Very easy and very beautiful. And that's it. Now you learn about Cap Rover. I hope you like it. And if you like it, click likes or subscribe. And I'll give you a lot of tech tips uh, every single week. Thank you.